crying over a plastic toy knife spaghetti. Yeah, that's just a random inside joke. I don't expect anybody to get it. Even I don't get it. Anyway, uh, we last left off very close to this guy. It, it's Barney. It, it just is Barney. Now, apparently there's a couple really easy ways to beat this guy, but I like this method, personally. It takes a while, but it works. Uh, he's really easy no matter what you do, to be honest. I think he's easier than crit, because the fireballs are generally easy enough to dodge. And, uh, I haven't ever really done this myself, but apparently if you just go in the door and, like, leave and come back in a few times, uh, he has a few set patterns that'll do with the fireballs, and there's one that's, like, incredibly easy to dodge. And you can just sort of stand there and shoot repeatedly and not have to worry about them getting in the way. But yeah, this works, and, uh, if you don't want to do that, or if you don't have the wave beam, uh... There's always the screw attack. Does plenty of damage. And of course there's missiles too, but eh, beat them without any missiles. What do you know? And uh, over here is a pink door, because Ridley is fabulous like that. It takes ten missiles to open, because the ones that take five aren't annoying enough on their own. We have to be worse than that. And then here we've got this strange solid lava, but with this one patch of non-solid spots. I have no idea. And here's another energy tank, which I don't have room to hold, but I'm going to grab it anyway, just because. And uh, as you saw, after I beat Ridley, I had 250 missiles, which is the maximum in several Metroid games, but in this one it's uh, 255. There is one other that I'm missing, and I'm going to speed up trying to reach it, because it's incredibly out of the way, and I really don't even want to get it, but I feel stupid just getting every missile except for one, so yeah, I'm just gonna go get it. And then uh, there will probably be some off-screening, because if all goes as planned, this playthrough will be finished uh, the segment after this one. So here we go. More delicious fruit, as people are calling it now. I don't think it deserves that title, but sure, let's go with that. Must get to missiles, because 242 aren't enough. I mean, what if I come across an enemy that takes 243 to kill? Then what am I gonna do? Because those totally exist. Okay, don't care. Just running. I'm taking damage. I'll heal the damage off screen, probably. And there is that one energy tank I could get near the start, but I don't want to have to go there because I have to do enough pointless backtracking as it is. So any excuse to cut down on some of that will be taken very welcomely, which I don't think is a word. But hey, you can make anything into an adverb if you try. Like, pantubulously. Yeah, that, that's kind of another inside joke from last night. It, had, it was very dirty. No, it wasn't. It was completely random. Oh, God. Why am I doing this? Anyway, yeah, this is like the longest hallway ever. In fact, it, it actually might be the longest in the game. I, have, I don't have the map, map open right now because I know everywhere that I need to be now. But... It's probably up there. Okay, there we go. All the missiles of the game. And now for a massive amount of... What? Why is that... Why is that non-tangible? Anyway, a uh, massive amount of backtracking done off-screen. Hooray. Okay, uh, here I am on the elevator leading out of Norfair into Brinstar. I think I've off-screened enough. I mean, there's still a lot more I could do, but... Whatever, I can speed up here. Enemies are generally non-threatening enough for me to not care. And I got a decent amount of my energy back anyway. Not all the way, but pretty close, so... I can be happy with that. And now, um, as you 
might recall in an earlier segment, I said you actually can't beat the game with the wave beam. And I'm not sure if that's entirely true. You might be able to actually beat it, but it's going to be a lot harder than it needs to be. So, you have to get the ice beam back. And I think you can just get the other ice beam, the one that I already got. I'm pretty sure that it just respawns. But, for the sake of variety and possibly convenience, I'm not sure which one takes longer to get. Probably this one, actually. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the other one. It is over this way. So we have to go through several more long hallways. Luckily, none of them as long as that stupid one at the bottom of Ridley's hideout. I'm not sure what path you would ever take that would lead you down there accidentally. Well, accidentally actually would be the only way. Uh, you can go down there, but it's a, it's a trap. It's a trap! I'm, I'm not gonna do that. So, keep going until I reach an identical room. Sounds like a lot of this playthrough. So yeah, here we go. Or maybe it's not totally identical, but it's similar enough. So you go down and bamf. Gotta love the fake lava, or fake acid, or fake oatmeal, or whatever that stuff is. Maybe it's real oatmeal. Floating oatmeal. And we've got flittery things that damage you as soon as you come in. Awesome. Missile doors are still the bane of my existence, and we've got the ice beam back. Nothing terribly exciting. Oh yeah, and that always bugged me. There's enemies over there. You can't get over there, but there's enemies over there. It's really weird. So anyway, um... This... Uh, I should be heading up to Turian, which is where the end of the game will take place. But it's not really enough material for one segment, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, once again, let the playthroughs not really sync up. And I'm going to do some random glitching slash exploring. So, actually I should probably cut the segment again and I'll just sort of appear back over there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that while invisible on the pause screen because I was flashing. Hey, you remember this area? You probably don't, but this is that useless door that I kept blabbering on about. And, uh, it's still pretty useless, don't get me wrong, but if I remember correctly, this is one of the best places to go for Secret Worlds. Now, Secret Worlds are, uh, basically, you just access them by doing the door glitch, which... We all know I've done that enough times in this playthrough, but the difference here is that you're using it to access a place in the game that shouldn't exist, rather than just using it to scroll the screen up to bypass an area where you would need the high jump or the ice beam or whatever, like I've been doing. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure how this works. I believe what happens is once you scroll the map far enough, it'll end up loading a different area of the game, but, like, using the wrong data for it. So it basically ends up generating random areas. From what I understand, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on this. I'm just doing this to fill up time. So, um... Here we can see the area. I have to keep going up a bit until I can finally enter it. But, um... You can do this in pretty much any vertically scrolling room, I think. It's just that, if I remember correctly, this is the best place to do it, because it gives you, like, an actual large area to work with. I think. Let's just see how it works. Those Zealas are certainly freaking out. I don't know what their deal is. Alright, here we go. Ooh, we got a missile door, and we got a regular door. Um, I'm gonna have to save state here to see what it is I want to do. I'll try the missile door first possible that you can get trapped forever. Uh, and I did. I'm not sure why. I'll try that one again. Um, maybe the screen wasn't scrolled up enough? Let me see. Nope, that's a trapper. Okay, let's see if this door's any better. It is. Uh, wow, I have no idea what's going on. 
and unfortunately I don't have that much time to explore this, so uh, this is gonna be have this is gonna have to be something that you try out on your own. And we got it. Wall. Great. Okay, I guess this wasn't the best place to try it. So uh go ahead and try this in different places, see what you find. Next time, uh I made a backup save state in the main Brinstar shaft, so I'll be heading upwards to Turian so I can finish the game in the next segment. So see you for that.